down. I went. I went to go outside. I went to the. I was going out to the street to get the newspaper for Henry, my husband, and I went out and I. I got the newspaper and on my way back to the house, Henry comes out the door and he says, Ethel. And I said, you don't tell me, Henry, all day I spent on your laundry. And he says, Ethel, I'll tell you. And I said, Henry, you don't tell me. I spent all day pressing your knickers and nothing to show for, Henry. And he said, Ethel, I'll tell you. And I said to him, all right then, Henry, what will you have to say? And he said, well, Ethel, I've got to say something to you. And I said, okay, Henry, what is it that you have to say to me? And he said, well, Ethel, the rooster has gone mad and he's loose again. And I said, what's mad about the rooster? And Henry said, Ethel! And I said, what, Henry? I spent all day on your laundry. And he said, that the rooster has gotten in with the cows again and he's run amok. And I said, what's wrong with the rooster getting in with the cows and running amok? And Henry said, if the rooster, if, if the rooster has relations with the cattle, we'll have eggnog instead of normal milk. And I said, Henry, this is the worst joke you've ever told. This is worse than the time you let your willy hang out the window for everyone at the county fair to see. And the little boy was scared and ran away. And he said, Ethel, I'll tell you. And I said, Henry. And he, sa he said, Ethel, I'll tell you. And that's the story of the Christmas before you were born. And um, the rest of the day I knitted a bit for Henry and then we went to sleep at 7 p.m. after we ate some cornbread. And it was delightful. <laughs> Hooray! Yay! Hooray! Yay! Yay. 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 Okay, now somebody, somebody change my drawers. I made a mess in my drawers. Somebody, come on and change, Granny. Come on, come on and change me now. He could take the mask off now. <laughs> that looks like really real. Really. <laughs>